So I just played Update 8 in Pet Simulator 99, and here are the best and worst features of this entire update. All right, so here we are, guys. Uh, this is pretty much the first area of the new update. And as you can see, guys, if we just go over here, we have the update log, and there's a bunch of new stuff. So probably one of the best stuff that have been included with this update is obviously Reboot 6. And it's, you know, it's a great because it allows you to progress, uh, you know, even further into the game. And it, that's pretty nice. I also really do love these maps. They were definitely built by some amazing and talented developers. And these maps look pretty nice. Uh, you know, they're, they're only like around 20 maps, which is a pretty high amount considering they only took around three weeks to actually build all this. And this looks all amazing. But one of the most hyped up features of this update were the hype bags and they actually are amazing i mean they're worth a lot they're around 2.9 million and yeah they're pretty much just has as we expected uh you know I don't, I don't recommend you guys use these i recommend you definitely sell them but this is another great feature from the update another good feature is going to be the uh what is it global events yes the global events and as you can see guys we can end up getting a global event gift which is probably going to be extremely rare and this is definitely going to be something that you guys are going to want to try to get the last good thing that i want to cover about this update is going to be the new auto hatch settings and as you can see guys we can now you it's now a bigger menu right here we can auto hatch we can use charged eggs and then we can also use golden eggs so it's a pretty nice menu i do prefer this one over the old one by a ton i think this is a pretty good change for the auto hatch button and i also do think the charged eggs and the golden eggs are a great and interesting addition to this entire game and here we are guys we're now going on to the bad stuff for update 8 and i wanted to start off with the mailbox uh, fees so as you can see guys it used to be just 10k and this was just all static right here and yeah as you can see this thing was just 10k but as you can see why is mine 151k well guys whenever you gift someone something uh it's gonna increase so, like if i were to gift someone and you know spend 150k which is an absurd amount uh and i would give someone you know pretty much a pet or whatever this number would go up to like around 200k so this thing and this fee right here is going to increase gradually and it resets only every 24 hours which is a pain this thing is definitely i think this is probably one of the worst parts of the update and i really don't know why they included this in, in the first place another pretty horrible update that they added was the one percent fee as you can see guys i'm just going to create a booth right here and as you can see there's a little text up here there is a one percent tax on booth sales up to 10 million diamonds so pretty much guys uh there is a so pretty much uh, what it means by up to 10 million diamonds you guys might think that if you sell something above 10 million diamonds it's not going to do a tax but what this actually means is that the most it's ever going to take from you is going to be 10 million so that's if you like it let's say you put a billion like you sell something for a billion gems i don't i don't really have anything but let's say i sell this for one billion the most they're going to take is 10 million so if i were to sell this for 10 billion they would still only take 10 million because that's the max which is pretty garbage they, they should definitely lower that to 100k or something but yeah this is definitely a pretty horrible feature lastly guys the final bad horrible thing that they actually added to this game was the forge uh, items machine which as you can see it's not worth it at all if i were to craft let's say let's start off with the large gift bag right here like let's see all right so all these gift bags are worth three million gems in total if i craft them they're worth 400k which is definitely not worth it uh, if i were to do let's just go over here charm stones they're making me do 100 charms for one charm stone so unless you guys have 100 garbage charms i don't recommend you create a charm stone and lastly the tnt crate this is probably the worst one out of them all 500k for all of these if i were to make them all uh into tnt crates that would be around 8k worth so literally 200 for one tnt crate is just it does not make sense like why 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 even have this like i don't even know this forge machine is just so garbage there's no point in this thing they really need to buff this because it, it's not that great and let me know down below if there are any you know other things that i missed i think i covered you know the most crucial parts of this update but let me down, know down below maybe there's like something that i you know maybe some like rainbow mini chest these stuff are just small that's why i didn't even touch on them but i just covered the most important parts